Get your motors running. Today, the Chevrolet Corvette is marking its 50th anniversary, and where the Corvette is aging, albeit gracefully, its status as the ultimate American fantasy car is timeless. The promise of tomorrow. America's original hot rod is a boomer. Like many of its drivers, the Corvette turned 50 this year. But 50 years old or young, it's still one of the hottest things on the road. Corvette. Corvette. With sleek curves and a fiberglass body, the first generation Vet was great looking but had little power. Sales were slow, so Corvette revamped it with a big V8 engine. The car quickly became an American icon, featured in the early 60s hit television series, Route 66. After a decade of success, sales slipped, and Chevy raised the ante again. The new Corvette, the best production sports car in the world. By the 70s, the Corvette had a cult-like following. Clubs sprung up everywhere. One man was even buried with his vet. It seemed at times to be the only car on the road, and red was the color of choice. The newest vet has just been released. The new generation is still turning heads on American roads, and at 50 years old, the Corvette remains an American classic. And to help celebrate the Corvette's 50th anniversary, we've got five generations of the legendary hot rod right here in the plaza, along with automotive expert Lauren Fix. Lauren, good morning to you. Good morning, Lester. This is the first. This is this the is first. This is 53. This is a September 53 car. This is the 75th car built, and there were 300 built, and they were all six cylinders. They were called the Blue Flame, and this car's worth about a quarter million dollars, and you could have bought it back then for about 3500 Just write them a check. What an investment, hasn't huh? it? Beautiful. From, from Look the at beginning, that. they were made of fiberglass, correct? They're all made from fiberglass. They're originally designed by Zora Arcus Duntoff and Harvey Earl. And the reason they use fiberglass, first off, it was unique that they could make shapes like this that would be very difficult to make in metal. And all the vehicles, all 300, were white with red interiors. And quick, show me what's under the hood. Obviously, the engine's under the yeah, hood. But, but it wasn't a fast car when no, it first a, came out. No, it's a six-cylinder. But remember, they were competing with Porsche and Jaguar back then. This is when America decided we're going to get in in a sports car market, because before that, we're all regular vehicles. What a beauty. And yeah. this, is, uh, this is the book that uh, the magazine, when they right. first rolled off. They first rolled off the line. June 30th, Monday, will be the official 50th birthday. Let's walk over here, because okay. ultimately, the, the Corvette becomes a Stingray. And this was the... Right. The split window. I remember this is a seeing this. 63 split window coupe. This was a mark. This is the change in body style. The first change is called the Stingray. It's very sharp, distinct lines. This car was the car that won all a lot of but, races but and everything. They didn't stay with us very long. The split window. Really. No, no. Actually, if you stood in back and you looked in the rearview mirror, you'd see two people because it was actually blocking the rearview mirror and it created a double vision out the back. So they decided to make the change and. Make it all one piece in 64. It's too bad because it's my favorite. It and is this, my and, favorite. And this is when it became a racing car. Right, and too. also but, the body lines of the cars, you can see the door actually integrated into the hood. And then under the hood, this car is amazing. Horsepower. Now, this vehicle is about $4,000 around that range originally. You're talking about a 327, 300 horse. This car as it sits, another good investment, is worth about $50,000. And you could eat off that engine. Yes, you could. Let, let's move forward, because now let's talk a, a big change in body styling. This is the 69? This is a 69, 427. This is a very rare car. This is one of about uh, 300 built, and that's worth somewhere around $100,000. Let me show you why under the hood. This okay. car is amazing. This is, again, the next body style, the Stingray. This is the Shark design. Under the hood is an amazing 427, the six-pack, a lot of people know about. I don't about. know what 427 means. That means but, a but, big block big motor, lots loud. of power. Big and loud and fast. <laughs> yeah, this was the car. If you were going to own a car, a Corvette in the 69 era, 68 was when they made the body sale change, this would be the ultimate car to choose. These vehicles, this particular one's 100000 but you can get them for less in the, in the less horse less performance motors. They didn't make an 83. There was a period where, right. though, that they were kind of stuck in the same yeah. body style, right? Right, and they were pre-production, and the reason that they made the 84s is the first body style changed And this sleeker. is the 84 here. This is the 84, and it's got sleeker lines, totally different from when you're looking at the previous years. 83 is the only year of no production because they were all pre-engineered. And by the, by the and time this came out, it was a pretty easy car to get, not as, as rarefied right. airs. The car's worth about $10,000 right now, but... You can get them for Memorial Day Family. Yeah, this is the 50th anniversary car. It is gorgeous, and it has amazing power. It's got 
Yeah, top engineering. I could take delivery of this one. You could take delivery of this day for $57,000. A big engine, this one. You want to start it up? Can I start it? Would you start like? it up. The car is great. It's all uh, integrated engineering. It's got aluminum suspension components. It's state of the art. Right. You'll have everything. Let's hear how she sounds. Whoa! Rev it up. All right. I should have probably checked to make sure we were in park before I did that. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> this is a beauty. How much is this again? This is fifty-seven thousand. Now there are people coming from all around the country. There's over six thousand cars that are caravanning to Tennessee from Bowl They're going to Bowling Green, Kentucky, which is where they're made now. And this is religion for folks who oh, are into this, this whole Corvette thing. This is like a religion, absolutely. It's everything from apparel to cookies to cars and clothing. Lauren, terrific. Thanks so much for coming on Thank today, you. sharing these with us. Appreciate it. Up next, we'll dish up some summer delicacies fresh from the ocean. We're back after these.